What's going on? Thanks for tuning in. You're tuned in to YouTube's exclusive Keto channel. Every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern, we do a live stream Keto Q&A. That's right. Come on up with your questions. Ask your questions. Get your answers on the spot. A little bit about me. Um, I've been doing keto for just a little over a year. I've lost 140 pounds. I'm a certified health nutrition life coach that specialized in the ketogenetic diet, ketosis nutrition, intermittent and prolonged fasting. Um, so, you know, that's, that's how I got all this info to be passing along to you all. All right, so today we are going to make um, cauliflower parmesan crisps. All right, so um, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need two cups of riced cauliflower, three quarter cup of freshly shredded Parmesan cheese, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, and salt and pepper to taste. And the macros um, for these, for the ingredients that I used, make sure when you make this, you put this recipe with your ingredients into your carb manager to track and get the right macros. But um, you can have three of these per serving. This is gonna make about four servings altogether, all right? And the macros are as follow. Um, for every three you eat, it's 108 calories, seven grams of fat, 10 grams of protein, and one gram of net carbs, all right? So what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna take the rice cauliflower, and first we gotta get any water that's in it out of it because we don't want the water in there. So I have some cheesecloth right here. I'm just gonna, I already tucked the rice cauliflower. Um, I use this right here. I get it at Aldi's. I think it's like $1.70 a bag, okay? So I heated this up in the microwave, two cups of it for about five minutes, and I let it cool down a little bit so it's manageable. Then just take a tablespoon, spread out your cheesecloth, and you know, put like probably three tablespoons of it right on the cheesecloth, okay? I'm gonna open the lid on my food processor because that's where it's going. All right, and then just fold this up like so. So you have it like that. And then just squeeze, get any water out. See all that water coming out? You wanna get as much of that out as you possibly can. And then just repeat this until you get all your cauliflower um, rice done. And just put it right in your food processor. Okay, so I'll put about three tablespoons on here again. And again, that was two cups of riced cauliflower. You can make your own. Um, I do sometimes, but since I found Aldi has it, and the only ingredients are you know, riced cauliflower. Like, let's look at this one really quick, see what the ingredients are, because this has, um, this has garlic and herb in it. But uh, the ingredients in this are uh, cauliflower, salt, garlic, and parsley. That's it, that's perfect for keto. It doesn't have all the extras. Okay, so just get all the water out of this. See it coming out there? And just keep doing this till you get it all done. Now I think after this time, I'll be done with that stage. And like, um, I've done videos up on uh, Facebook about how to make rice cauliflower. I'll get one up here on YouTube soon. And you know, if you don't follow me up on Facebook, it's easy to find me up there. Just go to the search bar and um, type in hashtag Tim Harris Live, and you'll find me. I got a lot of content up on Facebook, more than I do YouTube, but I'm trying to work on getting more content up here for all of you guys. Okay, so I squeezed all that out. And the cheesecloth is relatively um, inexpensive. All right, so now I got the, the um, riced cauliflower in there. So I'm just gonna take a spatula and just, you know, break up these balls from the cheesecloth a little bit, okay? 
And then we're going to add our um, spices, which again is a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. So I'm going to pour that in. I'm going to sprinkle it around just a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to add salt and pepper to taste. Now you might not want to add that until you get your Parmesan cheese in there because sometimes um, Parmesan cheese is a little salty. So it might be salty enough for you without the salt. But I like to get my pink Himalayan salt in every day. Okay, so I have all that in there. I already shredded the cheese right here. This is Parmesan, okay? I shred all my cheese myself. Even my mozzarella, my cheddar, all that, I shred it all. I don't really buy anything that's already prepared because I don't know what's in it. At least when I make food myself, I know what I put in it. All right, so I have all this in the food processor. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm going to pulse this. So I pulsed that seven times. Then I'm going to scrape down the sides. That way you get everything well incorporated. Okay, now I'm going to pulse it three more times, so a total of ten times. Alright, so that's it for that. We'll get this right out of our way. Okay, pop this lid off. Get the blade out. Okay, and then all we're going to do is, um, I have a, I think the, I can't even remember what size this is. I thought it said on here, but I think it's like a one ounce maybe, but you can use whatever cookie scoop you want. And then we're just going to take and, um, scoop this onto a baking tray that has, you know, the short sides, like a cookie sheet. And we're going to, um, I'll show you, watch what we do here, all right? So I'm going to grab a scoop full out of here. Make sure you get the scoop full, okay? And then I'm just going to place it on the parchment paper. Make sure you put down parchment paper, okay? So then it's like that. And then I'm just going to flatten this down with my hand. And then... Tuck the sides in a little bit to make them rounded so that, you know, it don't get burnt out there. And you want to probably make them about an eighth inch thick. And just keep repeating the process till you get them all done. And then we're going to bake these on um, 425 degrees for 15 to 17 minutes. And you know, these aren't gonna um, expand or nothing. So you can put them, you know, somewhat close together. And you know, you could change this recipe up. This is my own recipe. Um, you could, you know, um, add different spices. You could add some ginger in it. Whatever you prefer. And just get these all flattened out. And you want to try to get them all about the same thickness. That's what I like about using the cookie scoop is because then they're all going to weigh the same. That way you know your macros are on. And 
And these are, you know, a simple recipe. Um, I bought some Parmesan crisps not too long ago at Aldi's. They were $4.99 a bag. And I was like, wow, that's expensive. And, you know, I don't know what was in them. I just had to take the word for what was in them. But I don't know if you can see those too good. But that's about how you want them. See the thickness? Okay, so we're going to keep repeating the process. And I, I actually bought this uh, cook, cookie scooper here for my fat bombs. That way they're all the same size. They all, you know, weigh the same. Then I have to put the other ones on another um, baking pan, which I already have it prepared because I didn't know if they would all fit on one. Like I said, you want to flatten them out to about an eighth inch thick. And you want to preset your oven to 425. Just make sure you, you know, you go around and push your edges in a little bit so that the edges aren't so thin that they burn. Looks like those two got gypped a little bit. I have to add a little more to those two. All right, so I'm just going through. Now I'll flatten these all out so that they're all even, about an eighth inch thick. And again, you know, this is a great keto snack right here. Especially it's got the nutritional yeast in it, which is, um, hold on, I'll read you what that says on it. A lot of people haven't never used nutritional yeast and don't even know what it is. But it's great for keto. I recommend it. And you know, yes, stuff like this does take you a little bit of time. But, you know, one of the things about keto that helps you succeed is being prepared. So this is, you know, this is like food prep right here. I'm making these up so that if I do want to have a snack, which I never get hungry, but if I did want to have a snack, I could have a couple of these chips right here. And again, you know, I know what I put in them. Because, you know, after finding out about health, and how the food industry has betrayed us all and told us how we needed to eat high carb, um, low fat diet our whole life. And now they're finding out that that is false. I don't trust people that make food for me. I like to make it myself. All right, so as you can see, oop, don't want that to slide off. As you can see, I made three, six, nine, twelve of them here. Now I'm going to throw these in the oven for 15 to 17 minutes. And halfway through it, I'm going to flip them so that they don't get too cooked on one side. 
I noticed when I did that before, when I didn't flip them the first time I made these, um, they were darker on the top, on the bottom than they were on the top. And I hate having to, you know, use this pan for um, one of them, but I couldn't fit it on the other one. I'm going to make this one just a little bit bigger. Now, for example, how I made this one a little bit bigger, right? So you're allowed three of these per your, for your serving. So with this bigger one, I would just have just this. That would be a serving for me. Because, you know, I only do um, one meal a day. And I drink a shake in the morning. I do intermittent fasting. Okay, so that's how that one turned out. Just going to throw that in there on the top shelf. Set the timer for 15 minutes. Okay, timer's going. Let me rinse my hands really quick and I'll show you um, what they look like when they're done. So here's some that I made earlier, and here they are. These are cauliflower parmesan crisps. And you know, you could put them in a baggie like this, take them with you to work, take them with you on a road trip, and that way you're prepared so that you'll have better results with your keto. All right. So if you haven't done so, please click on the subscribe button down there and then also click the little bell icon so you'll be notified every time I go live or I post new content. And like I was telling you about that Sunday keto Q&A at 8 p.m., it will send you a notification that I'm going live in case you forgot. All right. Bye.